July 28th, 2018. Got my phlebotomy done yesterday. I feel like a million bucks today. And look who I had to go to go fishing with. What's Even up, guys? homie? Ah, long time, eh? Dude, we don't get to fish very much in the summer we don't. because no. you do a ton of different events, club events, and I do all kinds of stuff, but we hunt all the time. We do, yeah. But we never get the chance to actually go bass Say, fishing enough. Last I'm, time we went, bud, was uh, walleye. Remember that time yeah. we went and caught nothing? Uh, which, oh, Bay of Quinney. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny because I went to the Bay of Quinney bass fishing this week and never caught nothing. Oh, I went last. Wait, you two did weeks good. Ago, I did a good. I, I did good. I got you fourth. did good. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So we are on the road. We have we're up for like a shortage of time Mark's got to get back and pick his lovely wife and daughter up They have been in Ireland for three weeks Amber and Emma are in the sky right now flying to Alberta to visit their family You may ask why I'm not on in the air flying to Alberta Well because Alberta doesn't have bass and there's no way that with the short season We have that I'm going anywhere in this country that bass season's not open without the fear fishing battle wagon So we have a limited amount of time. We are headed north. We're going to a lake where I cut those two donkeys earlier in the season it's kind of like our Ontario fun lake used to be really really good I was surprised I got two good ones this year we're gonna see how it is we're getting it's July 28th we're gonna get into those dog days of summer here very quickly hey Mark fishing oh, yeah. in it's August is soon. August is yeah. tough in Ontario uh, it's like the dog days of summer and then September will heat up on the fall bite but we will either have good fishing today or we're gonna see some tough fish but it's gonna be good because we're going together smash smash fest we are on the road it's time to catch bass or pike or whatever I'll bite I'm I'm not that picky made it to the launch looks like there's a club event going on here eh, Marcus yeah, I'd say so we're a little late to the party it's about 7 30 in the morning there is probably seven or eight bass boat trailers here I think we're still gonna get them I think we're gonna win this clubby I Totally, we should put our fish in a live well and got my gas station weigh them in. tea. See, that was pretty good. We, we stopped and got some gas station tea. There was no Tim Hortons on the way, but we were hooked up. Gas. For Ontario, it was not that bad. Only $1.25 a liter. We're gonna put the boat in the water. This is where we used to have a cottage when I was kids, like I explained before. Mark, you fished on tournaments here. I have, yeah. I've done well here. You've done third yeah. place here one time. Third place at a top bass here, yeah. Nice. So excited to fish. I am very excited to fish. Um, I, I haven't been here all year. Actually, I don't remember the last time I was at Seymour. I was here once with Sean Pike fishing. We fished bass here once by myself and I got two donkeys. Let's keep the streak going. I think you'll find I'm way better to fish with than Sean. We're gonna find out. Boo. Let's do this. Bill, watch me under the light. So keep me in your sight. Cause I can do this all night. Flipping jigs, oh, my you, Not a bad way to start the morning. Missed one on the frog, and now I got a small mouth. See ya, my friend. Oh, he's missing an eye. Look at that. Look at that. He's blind in one eye. Still took the jig. Good man. This is already going way better than the Bay Queen. See ya, bud. Just rolled up and there's clubby guys fishing in front of us. Hunter here pulled a four pounder out from underneath them. How do you feel about that? You feel bad? Uh -huh. Feel guilty? 
Up, what? Gonna fix this jig up since my other one was bent out. Trim those off. Then you won't miss. I know the time does not stand still can see the world when it's spinning, spinning Compensating for the moments that I spilled Wish I could fly like an airplane, airplane Stop forsaking We had a good time, eh, Marky? Oh, it was a good day, yeah. We each got yeah. a good one? Yes, we did. We caught quite a few fish, 130 now. Mine was bigger. We'll see in the replay. Now, you like to finesse fish Sankos. I do. And well, I, did I throw it all day? No, you didn't. You you manned up, you got your bait caster out and your 50 pound weight. How many I catch? None. How many I catch on the Sanko? Uh, a few, you got a good one too. Yes, I did. So, fans at home, I'm never going to give you any tips on how to rig your Senko rod, but I just happen to be with a guy who's kind enough to share this information. So, Mark, bro. this is your moment to shine. Tell the folks at home how you do this. All right, guys, I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. This is how I prefer to do it. I've got a 7-1 Evergreen Combat Stick paired up with a Ballistic 2500 Series LT. Uh, the line I like to use is just straight uh, 20 pound braid, J braid of course. Uh, so what I do is I use a, a bobber stop, all right? Small 1 16th ounce bullet weight tungsten, and then I tie it direct. Nice. All right. That's the tip. Now I usually black this uh, line out, but I forgot my marker. I'm in Ian's boat today. Um, I use the uh, Spike It uh, scented garlic. That's your Mark Hunter Sanko tip of the week. Sean McCall is going to love this. Made it to the homestead on the way home. We got about halfway home. Absolutely downpoured on the boat. Marky Mark. Did you have a good day? I did, buddy. Thank you very much. Hey, anytime. I had a great time. Thanks for the uh, tip on the Senko. Yeah, no problem. I hope that uh, helps out uh, all you jig fishermen actually go out and catch fish. I didn't, I didn't do too hot yeah. on the jig. I think I got one on the jig, but uh, I did hammer down on the lily pads. I'm going to tell everybody here in a second how I got them in the lily pads. How to set their lines up, yeah, bro. You got to go, buddy. You got to go get Joan and Hannah. Do, yeah. They were in Ireland. Okay, you drive safe. He's headed to the airport. I'm gonna tell you how you can get more fish in the pads. And I'm going to get Ashman. We're gonna give you a quick lesson on how to get more fish out of the pads. Two rods I use for pad fishing. Both Takahiro Tattoo Elites. One's a seven six flipping and the other's a 7.3 pitching, both heavy action. This has got a one ounce weight on it today. 
too heavy in those shallow pads. Today, I got the fish on a half ounce, but the key is high speed reel, freaking, cause you're gonna make a ton of cast. This reel, seven to three gear, uh, gear ratio, but when you're pad fishing, throw it into the pad. Let it, it, it'll make it through the pad. Then, what you wanna do is just give it a second. Sometimes the fish will blow up on it right away, and as soon as it goes through the pads, it'll grab it. Other times, you gotta let that bait soak. Flip it in, let it hit bottom, and then pull it up a couple inches and let it down. Pull it up a couple inches, let it down. Pull it up a little. And on slow days, you'll get a lot more fish. Today, I think out of all those fish I got, one of them, I didn't have to let it soak. So. It's really important to let your bait soak for they get a look at it, especially when they're not crazy aggressive. Other thing, 65 pound braid. Most of the time I use 50 pound braid, but for flipping the lily pads, 65 pound braid. Try it, you'll get more fish. Any kind of creature bait, craw bait will work. Right now I gotta go get Ash Man from my dad's house cause it's, uh, it's some guy time this week with the girls gone to Alberta. Look who's in the house, he's home. I picked him up at Papa's house. Look at this. Didn't even get dressed today. Me, you didn't get dressed? No. What were you doing at Papa's? I was just sleeping in and watching TV. We are having a guys week. Where's Emma and Amber? I don't know. I can't remember. Alberta? They went on an airplane this morning, right? So it's just me and you and the dogs all week. Tomorrow, I think we're going to go to the zoo. We're going to hang out. We're going to have some daddy ash time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Some daddy ash time, you got big soccer game this week. So on the water, it was a great day, Mark Hunter and I, we caught some big fish. Remember guys, if you're a single kind of finesse fisherman, use Mark's setup in the pads when it's tough, slow down, let it hang in there. Make a couple dunks, don't just cast in, cast out. Work that, work the pads. Do you like casting on the frog? Yep. You can always frog fish over the lily pads, right? Yep. Yep, and catch big ones that way, but when it's tough, I casted the, the frog this morning. Couldn't get a hit, but as soon as I started flipping the creature bait, they were on. We are going to watch some movies tonight. Yep. We're going to hang out with the puppies. Yep. For every for everybody, Montana's doing pretty good for being an old dog. Her birthday is actually on August 3rd. She'll be 14. Anything else you want to say before we go? Um, nothing. But... Tanner's not 14, she's 98 in dog years. 98 in dog years, that is very true. We are gonna have some father-son time. This week I'm gonna try to do a couple days of the vlog while you're at daycare, summer camp kind of deal. Maybe I'll get some fishing in. You wanna see, you wanna close this up? Yep, right. see you soon. <laughs> get out of here.